And so we're going to have the sword cutting on May 5th by the President of the Republic. And we will invite other leaders and the corporate leaders all over Africa to be part of it. And from there, construction will start. Oh, what's up, everybody? Thank you for checking me out. My name is Eko Simpson. I'm a Ghanaian. Um, and I live in Ghana. Well, you are watching this channel because somebody introduced you to it. It was recommended or suggested to you on YouTube. So thank you for checking me out. If this is your first time of watching my videos, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yes, so that is why we are here today. Uh, he invited a lot of dignitaries from all over the country. We had uh, ambassadors coming in. We had high commissioners coming in, some Jonah, and then we had Chela, and then Ochiami Kwami. They all passed through, and it was beautiful. So today, we came here to plant trees. What we have done today is to now provide the path to the site. Welcome. The sun is doing the best. Yes. <laughs> I mean, this is clearly the work of a visionary. <laughs> it's, it's always been a visionary, as I said. But this is an initiative whose time has come. Uh, this is provided us a fantastic opportunity to tell our own story, to tell the world the contribution that we've made to civilization, which has been immense. But of course, your history is told by others, so it is conveniently forgotten. This is a fantastic idea, and I think that deserves the support of all of us, uh, people of uh, the Black Race. So it's been a real pleasure and delight to be here today and see the beginning of something truly wonderful. Thank you. Straight in it. <laughs> so let me say a very big thank you um, to Sven for this opportunity to be a part of this vision. An African adage that I love so much says that we do not inherit this earth from our ancestors. We rent it from our born children. So an opportunity to contribute to knowledge, an opportunity to contribute to growth, to contribute to vegetation is a rare opportunity for all of us. I would like to encourage all young people watching me today. Let us get involved with telling the African story. Because if we do not tell our story, others who tell it for us will twist it for us. And we always feel insecure. So I'm happy to be a part of this project. And I'd like to urge all young people especially to pay attention to what is happening here. Africa will rise. Thank you. Thank you. Great. No, it's okay. You just straighten it. Okay. This is the freedom plant. This plant would be called the freedom plant. <laughs> as long as this plant stays here, it will neutralize this land. There will be freedom within our nation. There will be development within our nation and there will be seed of wisdom within our nation. I wish you a great success in all this development, our country, our nation, our people. This museum would be a museum for the continent that everybody would come to learn about the history of our ancestors and our culture and our tradition. Today is the day we ask the Lord God Almighty to guide us protect us, grant us power, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to be able to fulfill all our dreams and turn all our visions into reality. So the freedom tree is here today. It's not uprooted, it's rather planted. And it will germinate to support our nation. Thank you. It's um, our pleasure being here today to plant this tree to commemorate the museum. We are prepared and committed to give all the support we can to Mr. Kujiyanke and the team. As I said on the Executive Council, it's been a dream for me and I'm looking forward to looking at this in two years' time. 
commemorating it on behalf of our ancestors. Thank you very much. very happy to be here today and I want to say I'm here not just, I planted this tree not just on behalf of myself but on behalf of the Buzia Foundation because I would like to remember my parents on this day. My mother started the foundation in honor of my father and it's, they are the two people who gave me the foundation in my life of the faith and belief in the excellence of who we are as a people and that wherever we are we transform the world in which we live they are rooted in ghana but from those roots in ghana we went all over the world and discovered the glorious heritage of african peoples around the world wherever we lived holland Mexico, England, they let us see the ways in which being the people of African descent in those communities changed the worlds that they had entered. And so I want to pay tribute to the gift they gave me that led me to understand that when you get a call from somebody like our intrepid leader to say we want to build a museum for the pan-african heritage you understand why you need to say yes more manures now there's fertilizer under some more fertilizer please <laughs> 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 Plant. Yes. <laughs> I am planting this tree on behalf of my German Ghanaian in the diaspora. When I went to Germany, what I noticed is the number of trees in that country. You see a deliberate attempt to plant trees and to keep trees growing. So, as I've known Kojo for a long time, he was one of my first employers as a very young girl. He's always told me, take your task seriously. So I know this task of building this museum is a very serious task. Um, I'm honored to be here, not just for myself, but also for in behalf of the pan African Foundation, which has throughout the years promoted the spirit of Pan-Africanism and reuniting the African family. And this institution, this multifaceted Pan-African historical, cultural, heritage institution that we are planting these trees in honor of today, I see it as a reassembling of the African family that has been dismembered, but this is part of the remembering ceremony because the collection of artifacts, the gathering of Africans for conferences and seminars, the displaying of African excellence is bringing back and putting back together the African body that has been dismembered. That's what real remembrance is, the remembering the body of the African excellence and who we are as a people. And all of that excellence, I think, shall be displayed in the institutions that shall spring up. As these roots take root, and as it's, the trees spring up, so may the ideas of African people be recovered. May our ancestors be proud of what we're doing. I'm sure they're the ones who are directing us today, that we remember them in our past, we celebrate each other in the present, and we plant these trees for the future. So in that honor, I say also on behalf of our brothers and sisters from the diaspora who shall benefit from this institution, having another catalyst to come back home and reunite with the African family and walk on this soil and the soil of Mother Africa, I also celebrate them and their spirit. And may they be a part of this ceremony, even in their distance, but our spirit together here today collectively brings their spirit with us here today too. Thank you. I'm going to water it. Okay. Well, first of all, we are grateful to be here this morning to be part of this very interesting and important ceremony. It's, it's our demonstration of solidarity with the vision Honorable Kodriyanka, the solidarity of the whole tourism fraternity in Ghana. Because we know just as we create the bridges and the linkages to facilitate 
the reconnection of the African family on both sides of the Atlantic. We, our sense of African pride in ourselves will be strengthened. So we're happy to be here. We thank you for the opportunity. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. All right. Nothing happens without universities. And so on behalf of the Association of African Universities, and indeed the historically black universities in the diaspora, we are contributing to this project. And we believe that in two years' time, when we can, this is going to blossom into something that future generations will be proud of. Thank you very much. In our culture, they say tree is life. And uh, unfortunately for Africans, our heritage, uh, I wouldn't say has been stolen, but in a way it has been stolen. And so projects like this and events like this are meant to restore the her heritage that we all cherish. And so it is my prayer that as the rain comes down, pours on these trees, it becomes a symbol of the revival and the renewal of our heritage, which is, uh, embodies or exemplifies the spirit that we Africans have. Well, this is one more step in the road to the Pan-African Heritage World Museum. For us to get at a structure, we need a path to get there. And it's always good when you're guided along the path. And so, what better way to provide guidance than to have a line of trees? I'm planting this on behalf of the family that I'm planting today uh, with my wife for the rest of the family and we believe in the vision ahead of us we have been so much encouraged by the support that we have had from all over the world and when I say all over the world I mean it there's so much groundswell of support for this project that there's no reason why it should not succeed This tree is being planted on behalf of the God Box Foundation, which is a Pan-African uh, interfaith organization here at the Pan-African Heritage World. It's, it's being planted right where the gates are going to be. We're going to plant one over here and then one on the other side. This will be the guard. That guard is here. 